some time back I made this USB paddle controller so I can play paddle games uh, in MAME and in Stella stuff like that and I decided you know I want a spinner control to play Tempest, Arkanoid, some other games so I modified my original USB paddle just a little bit basically what I did is I got rid of the stops for the original potentiometer that's in here and uh, it works really well I need to mount another switch probably over here on top or something to use as the super zapper switch I still have a second channel I can use from the USB mouse circuit that's inside of here and I use this little uh, 3D printed circle you see here in this little case a little nub on the back you actually glue this up into the bottom of the existing potentiometer in the Atari paddle controller and the mouse will actually sense off that black disc right there the little USB key in here has a copy of the STL file to print this off I put a link to the file in the original paddle controller I built I'll put it in this uh, video as well in case you want to download and 3D print yourself some of these little pads to convert old bad uh, paddle controllers over to be a USB paddle or now in this case a spinner so let's give it a try I'm gonna fire up old Tempest over here uh, insert coin one coin okay here we go so now we can move it back and forth I can spin on it. level zero okay here we go so here we go we go all the way around it has a little bit of a click so I need to modify it a little bit more but it works really well excites for the super zapper button which I didn't put on this yet I'll go ahead and make a little modification and get that taken care of but I love playing Tempest this is a neat way to make a cheap spinner control for me to play Tempest on your PC and not spend you know fifty to a hundred dollars for a spinner to hook up to uh, to me get them all awesome Whoa. Uh oh. Well, there we go. You need to adjust the sensitivity of the uh, the trackball on main, though. I should have done it before I started playing. It's just a little crazy, a little fast. But I'll make another video where I make a uh, where I show all the modifications need to be done to make a USB spinner out of an Atari paddle. Oops. So stay tuned for that video sometime in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.